You ready for this? They're off. And Frankel just missed half a beat, perhaps by design, restrained Queely the pink cap. They go through the first 100 yards of the 2012 Judmont International, and no surprise to see Bullet Train up there with Robin Hood in the dark jacket going up between horses and Windsor Palace against the fence a close up. And at the end of a furlong and a half, it's Shamie Heffernan and Robin Hood who move on to set the pace. Chased by Windsor Palace with Bullet Train settling off them in third place. A truly run affair already. The leading trio have gone some four clear from St. Nicholas Abbey. Then for half, Frankie in the all blue, the nose banded three Putra against the running rail, tracked by Frankel under a waiting ride from Tom Queeley. Twice over the green cap last year's winner, last but one, and Planteur, now in the hands of William Buick, is racing at the tail. So freewheeling their way across the Naysmire and down towards the final three quarters of a mile. And Frankel has been put to sleep with just a couple behind him as on the sharp end it's Windsor Palace who leads them into the turn and around towards halfway. He stretches two lengths clear, Robin Hood from Windsor Palace. They're followed through by Bullet Train. Then this three length break to St. Nicholas Abbey. In behind them, Fahad, a Tory waiting back in fifth place, just ahead of three Putra, Frankel twice over, and finally Planteur. Into the straight they come, the pace setter still, Robin Hood and Windsor Palace crossing towards the near side down to the last half mile. Uh, Robin Hood followed by Windsor Palace, both ridden along, trying to stay in front uh, as long as they can. Frankel is drawn away towards the extreme left, tracking St. Nicholas Abbey, who's under a patient ride from Joseph O'Brien. Down inside the three they come, and now the race develops. Frankel breezes up on the near side with Queeley sitting motionless, and here he goes, down to the final two, into unknown territory. Fahar is taking his effort in the centre. St. Nicholas Abbey, a length and a half to make up, but Frankel, Queeley shakes the reins, the response is immediate, down to the last furlong and Frankel bounds clear and this is all over Frankel scorching away this perfect mix of poetry and destruction this glory of rhythm power and majesty the undisputed champion of the world Frankel wins the Judmont International and it's 13 out of 13 a head ball for second Sir Nicholas Abbey and Fahar bullet train was next and they're followed home by twice over